Hello everyone and welcome back to the part 5 of ReactJS interview series and in this series we are going to discuss these questions. What are pure components? How to make functional components pure? What is react.memo and how is it different from use memo and use callback? What are use ref and forward refs? And what is use imperative handle hook? So what are pure components? But before that, let's understand what are pure functions in JavaScript. A function in JavaScript is said to be pure if it satisfies two conditions. First, for the same input, it should always return same output, okay? And the second, it should have no side effects. So let's see a few examples of side effects. Mutating your input is a side effect. Logging into your console is also a side effect. HTTP calls, changing the file system, curing the DOM. These are all examples of side effects. A pure component in React is the component which will render the same output for same set of state and props. Same inputs, same output. Just as pure functions, pure component will also render the same output for the same inputs. For class components, you can create pure components by extending the pure component class, which is provided by React. So in class components, we know that a pure component can be created by either extending pure component or using should component update, which is a life cycle method of class components. I'll not discuss these in details because I hope that you have already moved on to React hooks by now. Uh, we'll discuss how to create pure components in functional components, okay? So in functional component, you can create a pure component by using react.memo. So react.memo is a higher order component that takes any component as an input but will return back a pure component so you can send any component to a react.memo but you will get back a pure component what is a higher order component i've already discussed in my previous uh, part part 4 of react js interview series if you're not clear what is a higher order component i would recommend that you watch that part and understand what is a higher order component okay so uh, important in react.memo is that you can send any component to the react.memo higher order component but you'll always get back a pure component how it does that let's see so when a component is wrapped in react.memo in the first render it will return back the component which it has got as a prop but it will also memoize the result it will save the result in memory okay so before the next render it will compare the props if the props are same it will return back the same memoized result okay so remember in pure functions pure component same input same output same thing same props same same output you will get from the pure component also. So react.memo compares the props and will return the same memo as result if the props are same, okay? So this is an example of a pure functional component. Uh, the component is movie. This has two props, title and release date. And this movie component is wrapped inside react.memo. So this movie will be memoized. This component will be memoized and will return the same values if there's no change in these two props title and release date this is how react.memo works so remember whenever you are using react.memo you are using some extra memory right and you are trading memory with performance so there is an increase in performance but you are using extra memory for that react.memo should not be used if not required it should not be overused it should only be used in these four scenarios okay it should be used only if you require a pure functional component as we discussed it should be used if it renders often if your component is getting rendered multiple times you can use react.memo if it is getting rendered with same props again and again you can use react.memo if your component is very me medium or very big size you can use react.memo in that case as well so now you guys must be wondering that we discussed about react.memo now what is use memo and why do we even need use memo if we already have a react.memo which works perfectly and sends us back a pure component and does memoization and all that stuff why do we even need use memo so let's discuss what is use memo and what is the difference between use memo and react.memo use memo is a hook remember use memo is a hook and react.memo is a higher order component use memo is dependent on a dependency array that we pass to it and react.memo is dependent on the props of the component that we wrap inside the react.memo higher order component okay so that is the major difference use memo is a hook react.memo is a higher order component use memo is dependent on the dependency array and react.memo is dependent on the props of the component that is 
pass to react.memo. So this is an example of use memo. The first argument is compute, which is a function which will compute the result. And second argument is dependencies, the dependency array, which has the dependencies inside it. So what happens in the first uh, call to this use memo hook, it will compute, it will call the compute function, it will compute the result and that computed result will be sent back to the component and it will also be memoized somewhere. It will store it somewhere in the memory. The computed result will be stored. Okay. Now in the second call to this use memo, this will first compare the dependencies, if the dependencies have changed or not. So this comparison is object dot is comparison. Okay. So this we have already discussed in part two of the series, how the object dot is comparison is done in use effect. Same way it is done in use memo as well and use callback as well. Okay. So the comparison is made between the dependencies and the dependency array. If they are same, the same calculated memoized result is sent back to the component okay so it is not computed again the memoized result is sent back to the component okay uh, but if the dependencies are not same again the compute function will be called the result will be again calculated and sent back and again memoized okay so this is how use memo works so now what is use callback use callback is a specialized case of use memo where we memoize only callback functions okay so in use memo you can memoize any values but use callback is specific to callbacks okay it will memoize only callbacks so let's see an example so this callback function is there right callback uh, so we have a memoized callback which is using use callback and we are memoizing a callback here okay uh, so if you see that we can create the same thing using use memo also, but we we need to do it like this. We need to create an arrow function and pass callback. So this use memo is equivalent to this use callback. So everything is same. That's that use callback is a specialized hook that memorizes callback. Okay, it's a special case of use memo. What is use imperative handle? So let me tell you in advance that this is a very advanced topic and this probably will be asked if you are a senior developer or later stages of the round okay uh, so before understanding what is a use imperative handle let's understand what is use ref what is a forward ref and then we'll go to use imperative handle use ref is another hook which is widely used in react it takes an initial value as a parameter and will return back a reference now this reference has two usages first it will be used to access the dom second it will be used to store the mutable values mutable value means it, any value that can change in the component just like instance variable in class components this reference would be used to save mutable values in the functional components okay so there are two rules to remember about these references first the value of the reference will remain same between the components re-rendering okay if component re-renders again and again the value of the reference will not change okay and updating a reference doesn't re-trigger a component re-rendering so even if you update the reference uh, it will not trigger the re-rendering of the component so let's understand use ref by this example so in the first step i have created the ref by using use ref hook i've got this element ref back from use ref so this use ref has returned me this element ref now i have assigned the ref to a div element so i've passed this element ref into ref of this div okay now i want to access this element ref so in order to access this element ref i have to do element ref dot current so what i have done after mounting i have accessed this element ref dot current so as we know after mounting if you want to do something we can use a use effect and pass a blank array as a dependency array which will call the this uh, statement after mounting okay so i'm doing console dot log element ref dot current after mounting what it will do it will log the html div element the complete div element okay so this uh, as we discussed right the user ref can be used to access the dom so when we print the value of this use uh, of the, the of the reference that is written by use ref we will get the html div element that was here okay you can see in the console this was printed guys i wanted to cover use imperative handle and forward ref also in this part but i don't want any part to exceed 10 minutes so i'll be covering that in part 6 of the react js interview series don't worry i'll definitely cover it but please do subscribe to our channel and please like the video if you like the video thank you